Big Bang Theory, American Dad, High Guardian Spice, all shows widely regarded as poorly written, hackneyed garbage by a lot of people. <laughs> and they're not necessarily wrong, in all honesty. All three of these programs have deep problems, whether it be unlikable protagonists, terrible writing and pacing, or just a level of sleaze and awkwardness that touches every episode, even in the most wholesome moments. I'm not going to sit here and defend these shows, or any other show for that matter, but I will say that I love watching them. I have a soft spot for shows that are often considered really, truly bad. Hell, my favorite live-action DC film to this day is Batman vs. Superman, specifically the director's cut, because it allows the happy-go-lucky beacon of hope to have serious struggles and emotional issues beyond feeling defined by his powers. I may even do a whole video about why I love BVS if enough people care to listen. But I have a point to make. I had a guest spot in Manga Commons' two-part collab on High Guardian Spice, where I expressed why I love the character Snapdragon, despite the show being genuine trash. And the comments were... unkind. A lot of misgendering, calling me a woman, mocking the way I speak, and my use of queer colloquial slang. That shit sent me into a deep depression. I never expected Manga Commons' audience, of all things, to be that vocally spiteful of a dissenting opinion. He's such an accepting and compassionate person, and a very dear friend to me, that the whole phenomenon broke my heart. I know a lot of the stuff I like is considered kinda trashy. And I'm not gonna deny it either, because there would be no point in trying to fight it. But even when I concede that something I like is bad, that doesn't seem to be enough. I think, because of the way the internet has evolved, we feel this need to justify everything. From film, to TV, to internet media, to fashion. We constantly demand these deep analytical explanations for personal taste. We feel entitled to it from others. I like analyzing even the dumbest, most shit-tier quality stuff that I watch, so that isn't a problem for me. I'd gladly write a 10-page essay on why Sheldon Cooper as a character kept me from self-deleting as a teenager, because his relationship with Amy Farrah Fowler made me believe I could be loved. But I don't owe anyone that essay. We do not owe anyone an explanation or defense as to why we like or dislike something. There's a pair of phrases I think we need to learn as a society. I didn't say it was bad, I said I didn't enjoy it. I didn't say it was good, I said I liked it. Sometimes we just like things. Sometimes we hate them. A song may feel like someone is pouring hot glass into your ears and make you angry for no real reason. A certain aesthetic might make you delighted for no reason at all. Perhaps a show makes you laugh, even if the story is poorly written. Or perhaps a popular podcast that grips the hearts of thousands simply annoys the shit out of you. So long as we are capable of being a healthy level of constructive and critical of the media we engage with, there's nothing wrong with liking what you like. So long as it doesn't put money in the hands of bigots and dangerous organizations, engage with whatever media you like. Or, in the words of my community, If it harms none, do what you will. You don't have to justify what you love to anyone.